Hey guys, and welcome to our updates on September 4th, 2023. So starting off with our satellite imagery, we can see that we've got this extensive area of clear skies from Western Russia through Europe and into Ireland and the UK. Um, and in addition to that, we've got this cut off low, this swirl of clouds and thunderstorms in the Bay of Biscay also affecting Iberia. Now, in between the ridge and the trough, we're putting in the wind from the east and southeast, and that means that things will warm up and also humidity levels will rise. So it'll be very sticky and quite warm. Today was a lovely day in, in Ireland, crystal clear blue skies pretty much, but in the west and southwest with very warm temperatures and a slight breeze, very summery. So this is the UK view charts for the next five days. So today we can see that it was largely sunny, um, a bit of high cloud floating around the north, a bit of high cloud floating around the west and northwest, also in the south, just giving the sunshine a bit of a haze. But other than that, unbroken sunshine nationwide. Now going through tonight, we see just a, a few hints of a few showers encroaching towards the um, southwest coast. So they will possibly give off a few lightning flashes, possibly a few thunder rumbles, but I think those will be limited for for time being. But by tomorrow morning, we do have this batch of quite thundery rain off the coast. A bit of it is trickling in towards Kerry and Cork, but I say this bit isn't thundery, but that will be thundery, very much so indeed. Um, give it to tomorrow, that area of rain doesn't does actually intensify inland tomorrow morning, so that may have a uh, that has possibly a slight chance of thunder. Um, that moves towards the Atlantic and dies off into tomorrow afternoon. So tomorrow afternoon should be mainly sunny and dry and warm, especially the further east and south you are. Now off into Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, we see some lower clouds move in from the south. Possibly some sea fog there in the Irish Sea and down towards the um, Celtic Sea as well into Wednesday. Um, possibly quite foggy on the east coast in the morning. Um, some thundery showers off the west coast. Um, and into the afternoon, sunshine should break out more widely. So we end the day quite sunny. Although, do watch out for the chance of a few storms forming over Donegal and Sligo into um, Wednesday, Wednesday night, we see an area of thunder, of, of um, showers and thunderstorms over Cornwall and the Isles of Scilly, and they will move northwards towards Ireland early Thursday morning. So in the southeast and east on Thursday morning, the chance of a few storms or showers, but these are still quite uncertain um, as to how intense they'll be and where they'll be as well. So do just watch that closely. Also, also watch this closely. Well, Thursday morning, off the west coast, and possibly just towards Galway, Mayo, Donegal, the chance of some thunderstorms grazing the coast there. So do watch out for that as well. They scoot off towards Shetland, and more storms form over Northern Ireland on Thursday evening. So, so over the next few days, warm, humid, partly cloudy, but the humidity will spark some um, scattered thunderstorms. So just watching where they'll be um, is quite key. Also, a few clusters will form, for example, tomorrow morning off the coast of Kerry, tomorrow, um, or should I say, Thursday morning in the southeast, as well as over Donegal, Mayo, and Galway. So um, other than that, quite scattered, um, but, but do watch out for them. A few clusters and a few just scattered. Um, going off into Friday morning, we start seeing fair weather over Ireland, uh, possibly a bit foggy in the Midlands there. And into Friday morning, any cloud burns off um, for a time, but it comes back into, into the afternoon. And a few showers form over Munster into, into Saturday morning. Um, we start seeing a few big downpours forming over Wicklow especially, while a system gathers towards Hebrides in Scotland. So a very um, summery week, a very humid, warm week, but also with a few thunderstorms in the mix. Um, so this is the temperature forecast 
from the UKV. Um, going through this evening, we saw temperatures today in the east and northeast between 20 and 24. In the Midlands, west and southwest, between 24 and 27. So very warm, especially for September. Tonight, we'll see very little respites, with temperatures falling no lower by 5am, 6am than like Ulster, Leinster, especially North Leinster, 15 to 16 to 17, elsewhere 17 to 20, or even 21 degrees there in parts of Kerry. Absolutely awful for sleeping, dreadful. And that about, about and that about I say 11, when many of us are trying to sleep. Ulster and North Leinster, 15 to 18, 17. Um, elsewhere, 18 to 22 degrees, warmest in the west, horrendous for sleeping, so good luck tonight. Um, tomorrow morning, we see temperatures rising, about afternoon, values are reaching um, 20 to 22 degrees on the east coast here, and possibly on the coast of Cork and Kerry, but inland, uh, 22 to 25 degrees, warmest in Limerick, Kerry, no, no, Clare and Limerick also possibly towards the northwest. Um, down, and by the way, the UK tomorrow could see 30 degrees really quite widely there in the Midlands and South, so that is something. We move off into Tuesday nights, and it's a bit cooler than tonight, thankfully, but still mild, very mild, with lowest temperatures falling between uh, 15 and 16 for Ulster, Leinster, and East Connacht, and East Munster. West Connacht and West Munster have lows of 16 to 17 degrees, so a bit cooler, thankfully. Um, into Wednesday afternoon, temperatures rise and reach um, 20 to 22 degrees over West Ulster, North Connacht, and in the south and southeast. Um, in the Midlands, um, we see temperatures rising between 22 and 24, so again, a warm day. The UK. Uh, very warm widely, but in the southeast there, East Anglia southeast, 30 to 31 degrees, possibly 32. So remarkably hot for September. It dies away, uh, the heat dies away into um, Wednesday evening, Thursday morning. But look at that Thursday morning, widely 17 degrees. Warmer though on the west and north coast, 18, 19 degrees. Again, not a nice night. Thursday afternoon sees temperatures rising, uh, warmest in the Midlands and the uh, Northeast, I'd say. Um, so on the west coast and northwest coast, and possibly there towards the south as well. Um, 18 to 22 degrees, coolest over Mayo, Galway, this sort of area here. Um, but elsewhere, 22 to 26 degrees, warmest in the Midlands. I'm not sure where I'm not sure where that is exactly. Um, going tonight, going into sorry, um, the UK on Thursday, um, widely thirty to thirty two degrees in this sort of area here. Um, going towards the uh, low temperatures on Thursday nights, widely thirteen to 15, thirteen to seventeen degrees, warmest in the Midlands and East, coolest in Munster and North Connacht and West Ulster. Now, Friday afternoon, temperatures rise again, a bit cooler now. So in Connacht and West Ulster and North Munster, 19 to 21, elsewhere, 21 to 23 or 24 degrees, warmest there in the southeast. Friday evening, we start seeing cooler lows. So for example, for Ulster by Saturday morning, 12 to 14, elsewhere, 14 to 17, warmest in the west. And um, Saturday afternoon, again a warm day. Warmest now towards the southeast. So temperatures 19, 18 to 20, 18 to 21 degrees in Westminster, Connacht, and Ulster. Elsewhere, 21 to 23 or 24 degrees. Warmest again in Leinster. The UK still get, getting towards the 30 Celsius on Saturday. So you know a prolonged hot spell here, thundery briefly into um next week this week should i say thursday especially and tomorrow possibly towards kerry 
Um, this is the NAO index observed and GEFS forecasts. Um, so this does show the general strength and position of high pressures and low pressures in the Atlantic Ocean. And if it's positive at the time of year, it means we've got the Azores high strong and ridgy, so it extends towards Europe, and the low pressures are way towards Iceland and Greenland. So at the minute, it's well positive, so it means that we've got a strong Azores high, and it's bringing us all this dry summer weather. But it eases towards neutral, and by mid month, it's dipping towards very slightly negative levels. So that does imply that the weather may just change slightly towards that time frame with the low pressure sinking southwards and the high pressure weakening leading to a start of autumn. This is the GFS 12 z run. So again, we've seen this all the time. Um, this chunky area of high pressure to our east drawing in the wind from the southwest, southeast I should say. Um, we keep going and these winds these winds maintain maintain themselves uh brief th brief thunder trough there on thursday that clears off before the ridge comes before the ridge comes back on friday um into the weekend high pressure but you may notice that is under stress and the lows to the north are deepening and by next tuesday we start seeing um them trying to f topple in however the ridge forms again to our east and southeast and pulls off another sub pulls off another southerly winds. So we're warming up again, surprisingly. My goodness, this is quite the GFS run. And that high stays to our east and pulls up the wind from the south. That would be an exceptionally warm or even hot September. This is the ECM run. So here we go. We can see that high pressure to our east, um, with that low to the west, very warm and humid, a few, a few storms possible. Um, before the high pressure, towards the weekend, starts to um, weaken a bit, and the low this on this run succeeds and does infiltrate, bring cooler air and shower weather. Look at these, look at the, look at these upper temperatures by next Thursday. Really cool down. Um, this is the UK Met run, so here we go. Got we got high to the east on Tuesday, and we're drawing in that warm hot wind fr from the southeast. That low to our southwest will stir up some bands of thundery rain, especially towards Kerry. You know, um, we keep going, and a brief thundery spell possible on Thursday before the high comes back on Friday. Um, before it's Saturday and Sunday. That low does just try and nudge in, and it goes cooler and a bit more showery. Upper temperatures by Monday, really cool actually, very autumnal. Um, the GEM, looking at like this, um, so the high pressure to our east, sinking away, allowing that southerly push of winds. Brief thunder we spent on Thursday and Tuesday before the high comes back. But on the on the GEM run, the low pressure makes a very tentative go at first, but in the end it comes through before the high comes back. But this time I think initially initially in a cooler air mass, but by the end of it we're going wetter again from, from the northwest. Icon like this. So it's lovely winds through Wednesday and Thursday. Well, or should I say the whole of this week? Um, the high comes back there on Friday and um, Saturday. And again, that low does barge in by next Tuesday. Well, barge in is a bit of an overstatement there. It slinks in quite actually, quite timidly so. Um, <laughs> and then finally, the Arpege run rounds it all off with southerly winds th 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 throughout the week with a very humid feel and some brief thunderstorms around as well. We go into Saturday and we look quite high pressure, we look quite dry at the stage, but we see some low pressure towards the north. So that's it for now. So it's been quite a warm and, a warm and humid week. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.